The union representing municipal police forces uh, in B.C., the officers on those forces, is getting involved in the dispute over policing in Esquimalt. The B.C. Police Association accuses Esquimalt Mayor Barb Desjardins of playing politics with public safety and is calling on the province to mandate a regional police force for Greater Victoria. The Solicitor General, however, says the time has come to stop, stop talking about this matter in public. And tonight, CTV News has exclusive details of the RCMP's proposal for Esquimalt. Stephen Andrew reports. The decision by Esquimo Council to dump the Victoria Police Department for the RCMP is being condemned by the union representing municipal police officers across BC. It says Esquimo Council is playing politics with public safety. Is there going to be an expectation if you move to the RCMP that Victoria will still come in and assist in the, in the event of an emergency? I think those are all questions that are unanswered and need to be looked at before there's any decision around uh, changing. Uh, the, the model of service delivery that exists in Esquimalt right now. Esquimalt's mayor was unavailable for comment today, but just days ago said bringing in the RCMP is the best option. The town has not released details of the winning bid, but CTV News has learned the RCMP has promised 35 officers to patrol Esquimalt streets, and the operation will be a standalone detachment separate from the West Shore. There is no word on how much money, if any, Esquimalt would have to spend on a new public safety building. Esquimalt's current facility has no cells. I would anticipate that it would cost them uh, perhaps more money than they're spending now. After days of questions on the issue, the Solicitor General wants to move on. I think what's really important here is that we stop having discussions in the media and get down to doing what the job, uh, doing the job that needs to be done. We need to get the homework, uh, we need to do the background, we need to fill in those financial gaps. The Solicitor General may not want to talk about the issue in the media, but the BC Association of Police says it will, promising to educate the people of Esquimalt what they'll be missing if indeed the RCMP take over policing. The opposition wants Shirley Bond to step in and end the issue now. I'm hearing from residents now that are very, very concerned about the uncertainty of the future, and this cannot go on and on during a municipal election. But Shirley Bond says everyone will have to wait until at least next year when her review of the issue is complete. Stephen Andrew joins us now with more. Stephen, the Solicitor General uh, doesn't want to talk about it anymore, but it's a hot topic uh, in Esquimalt and Victoria. Uh, any chance she'll make a move on this before next year? That's a long time to wait. Well, yeah, I mean, Hudson, she's sticking to her guns on this and wants to see that review which she ordered come in, and that's going to take uh, at least three months, and that'll be well after the new council has been elected. Meantime, the BC uh, Police Association is questioning the timing of that review and uh, the decision that has been made and told CTV today that it it wants to see a regional police force, but so far, as you know, that's been a non-starter. It's worth noting as well that the people who've been critical of all of this are not critical of the RCMP per se or what they uh, may or may not uh, be proposing to do in Esquimalt, but just the, the way this thing's unfolding. Well, I mean, I guess the issue is, and is what many people have said to us, is here are a number of questions. We don't know what's going on with the RCMP proposal. We are now going to go to the polls. We're going to be electing a new council. We want to know exactly what we're in for. And of course, uh, Scramble is not answering those questions, and I think that's what's causing so much uncertainty in this. All right, Stephen Andrew, thank you. You're welcome.